In today's video, we want to show you shocking home features that have vanished. We've got to warn you, some of these are really strange and you might even have seen some in your own home, so there's a chance you still have. Ever notice those tiny food elevators are always in horror movies about haunted houses? But no need to freak out, they're just called dumbwaiters, and they've got a pretty interesting backstory. Back in the day, these mini elevators were for the VIPs. Rich folks with kitchens downstairs would have servants doing their thing and zipping meals up to the dining rooms. Fast forward to today, and those mini food lifts are not really a thing. No servants, and dining rooms are usually close to the kitchen anyway. Now, if you stumble upon one in your place, it means that someone wealthy once lived there. But hey, maybe resist the urge to peek inside, just in case. Now onto a spot that's way less creepy. Old houses often had a quirky setup, tiny kitchens and giant pantries. It might seem weird, right? The kitchen is the heart of the home, where the magic of cooking and fun happens. But if you live in an old house, you might wonder, why is my kitchen so small and why is the pantry so huge? Now, what we're talking about, the butler's pantry, was like a storage with food, dishes, and more. In there, the servants did the dirty work away from owner's eyes. It protected the family and guests from any not-so-pleasant sights, sounds, or smells during meal prep and cleanup. In some fancy homes, the pantry even had heating lamps, drawers to warm up food, and fridges for chilling wine and salads. In Europe, believe it or not, sometimes the butler actually slept in the pantry to protect valuables like crystals and silver. But hey, enough about the butler and the service tales, let's switch the topic a bit. Oh ho, time for a history lesson. Those glass panels above doors in old houses are actually called transom windows. And guess what? They weren't just there for looks. They had a purpose that might surprise you. Back in the days when having electricity wasn't a given, but folks still needed some light at home, transom windows came to the rescue. Before electricity became widespread, people installed these windows to brighten up the hallway. Mystery solved. Did you know about this little quirk in architectural history? It's kind of a fun fact. Today, you still see some transom windows in many places, but they're more about adding a touch of style than serving a practical function. I mean, who doesn't love some natural light, right? While transom windows might still be around, our next feature might be a true rare gem. Oh, the bygone era of milkmen. Delivering milk was once the backbone of many families in the 50s and 60s. Nowadays, spotting a milkman in action is like finding a vampire. Pretty rare. But back in the day, it was a common sight, and milk doors were the norm in many homes. Little doors on the side of houses where bottles would magically appear between the walls, left there by the milkman. It's a bit like a mailbox, but for milk. Simple, right? Everyone gets the concept. Great, because our next feature might be a bit trickier. For sure, the art of hosting has evolved over time. Nowadays, getting anything when you visit someone is a win, but in the past, things were a bit more sophisticated. Enter the parlor sounds fancy, doesn't it? Well, it was all about class and prestige. The term parlor originated from monks who used these rooms in monasteries to welcome outside merchants. Eventually, regular folks adopted the idea turning these parlors into spaces for hosting both business associates and friends. But here's the twist. These parlors were like a visual representation of each family's personality. Think art, pianos, sculptures, you get the drift. It was all about showcasing style and sophistication. And speaking of art, let's move on to our next point. So, you want to hang a picture, right? Easy, just make a hole, stick in a nail, and hang it up. Hold on a second, back in the day, people had a way smarter move. Especially in some older homes, like those in San Francisco, they had what looked like fancy molding but was actually something cooler. Picture rails running along the walls. Now, these rails weren't just to look pretty. Instead of poking holes in your walls, you use hooks on the rail, attaching cords to the hooks, and voila! You can hang up your art or anything else without making your walls Swiss cheese. Even today, these rails can be your best friend. No holes, no fuss, and your landlord won't be mad at you. Smart, huh? Remember this hack as we move on to the next cool gadget. 
But before that, just a quick reminder to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and now let's get back to the topic. Ladies and gentlemen, can you imagine a world without fridges? Seems like a basic household item now, right? But people had to get creative before the invention of our modern fridges. Let's rewind the clock a bit. Back in the 1850s and 1860s, the first kind of like a fridge was born. Picture this, cabinet made of sturdy wood with some glass doors, but nothing like the machines we have today. Now, you might be wondering, how do they keep things cool? Well, every day, a boat would roll into town, loaded with massive blocks of ice. These ice blocks were placed on the top shelf of the cabinet, creating a chilly environment. As the ice melted, the cold water flowed down through the lower shelves, keeping food and drinks below nice and cool. It was a real game changer back then. But hold on, because the next feature might just top this one. Here's a blast from the past that's still surprisingly handy. Its history dates back to the 19th century, and get this, it was before inventing a washing machine. Quite impressive, right? But even after washing machines, older homes often still keep laundry chutes. The laundry chute was a brilliant solution that tapped into the force of gravity. Pretty obvious, huh? It also followed another timeless principle allowing you to toss your dirty laundry down a chute in the wall and forget about it until laundry day rolled around. But wait, there's another gadget coming your way on our list. Alright, we've talked about milk doors, and now get ready for the little window, not for milk, but for coal. So, here's the deal. Up until around 1940, most families heated their homes by burning coal. The furnace was typically chilling in the basement, but what about those little doors? What was their purpose? Well, families who could afford it had coal delivered right to their doorstep. Coal delivery folks went door to door, making sure people had the fuel they needed for their furnaces. They'd pour the coal through the small doors and chutes into the basement. Once in the basement, homeowners could toss the coal directly into the furnace. Nowadays, most of these chutes are sealed up, but in older homes, you might still spot iron doors, just relics of the good old days. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Are you ready for the number one on our list? Service was a significant part of every rural household. We rarely think about the places where the servants lived and slept, partly because these rooms are seldom open for tours. But wouldn't it be good to know something about them? In some houses, there were more servants than residents, so they must have had a lot of rooms or even their own wings of the houses. Nevertheless, the living conditions depended on the role of the servant. Those at the bottom of the hierarchy received basic items, maybe a bed, a chair, perhaps a table, a small mirror, or a piece of carpet. Senior servants in larger households were in a much better situation. Their rooms could resemble the rooms of their employers, partly because they often included unwanted furniture transferred from the family rooms. Many had carpets, armchairs, and desks. Unfortunately, the bedrooms of the servants are often inaccessible today in historic homes. Many of them have been converted into offices or used for storage. And what home appliances from the past do you think should come back? Let us know in the comments below and watch our next video by clicking here. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching.